Hello there. Welcome to another tutorial video of Godai. In this video, we will discuss about the team and members tab in Godile and how you can add your telecallers, your managers, your sub managers into Godile and get them to use the Godile app and also manage the contacts, know the number of calls they have made, and also assign them leads. So, to do that, what you have to do is you have to come to the Godile.cc website and log in to your web dashboard. Now, once you have logged into your web dashboard, this is where you will be coming. And you can see the number of calls your agents have made in the course of the day, the number of agents present at the account, and the last time each of them have placed a call. But to do this, you have to add them first. And that is what this video is about. So we'll come up here into the team and members tab and start adding them. So you'll click on this and straight away click on add or you can straight away add from here as well. So we'll click here and we'll start by putting in their details. Very simple. You put in their name. With the email ID, you have a choice. If you put in the email ID, you may not have to create the password. Godile will send your agent a mail where they can create their own password. But if you're not putting in the email ID, make sure you enable the set password option and create a password for them. For this account, we will put in the email ID and also set the password. Once this is done, we'll come to the user ID. Now, I always tell my clients that you create a user ID which is short and also has the name of the company and mainly not be named after an agent. So maybe here I will not use ABC. Why? Because let's say this ABC member leaves the company after a couple of months. Then what I have to do is I have to delete this entire account, create a new member and put in the details. Now, this obviously puts me at a disadvantage. The disadvantage being that uh, all the contacts that he has dialed, he has spoken to, and all the reports will go away. The contact will go back to the new status, which is something that I would not want. But if I make it, let's say, Godile 1, the name of my company, all I have to do is, once he leaves, I can simply change the name, I can change the password, and this account is good to go. Coming to the passwords. You have to keep in mind a couple of things. The password is alphanumeric and minimum eight characters. And they are highly case sensitive. So the case that you are putting it, so let's say if it is in capital here, it has to be in capital while your agent is dead or logging into the app. If it is small in here, it has to be small or in the lower case in the app also. So I'll put in the password here. And once this is done, the next most important part comes in choosing the roles. Now in Godile, we have three distinct roles after the manager. The manager is the one who has created the account. There cannot be more than one manager because he has all the accesses. But other than him, you can have three other roles which you can actually specify to your telecallers or your members. We'll start off with the agent. Now the agent is somebody who gets only the access of the app. So they can only dial from the app, they can uh, do their follow-ups, they can put in their reports, they can do all these things on the app itself. They cannot come up here on this web dashboard and import data, check reports, or do anything that a manager or a team manager or a sub-manager gets to do. What we'll do is we'll check the permissions that he gets. So the first one is the access CRM on app. Now with the access CRM on app option, what you can do is, you can give your agent the option to actually open the Godile CRM on his phone. There will be a tab on the phone and he can actually check out all the calls that he has dialed and do the follow-ups. There's also the option of the pipeline, which helps greatly in doing the follow-ups, which we will discuss in a later video. So you can enable this. The other option that you have is of the skip call. Now what happens is when we get a data, at times the numbers have, let's say a 13 digit number, or by just looking at the number, you know that this number is wrong. And you would, do not want your agent to actually 
waste those 10, 15 precious seconds on that call. So what he can do is he can simply click on the skip function and move on to the next call. Then obviously is the option of call recording, which obviously if it is suiting your device, if your device supports call recording and in your country, the laws are there, you can definitely give it a try. This one is particularly of importance. Show only my contacts. Let's consider there's a list which is being shared by more than one agent. In that case, what happens is you would not want that one agent gets to know about the contacts that the other agent is dialing. In that case, what you always do is you enable this. If you do this, the agent only gets to see the numbers that he has dialed. Also, this gives you another advantage is he will not be able to access the entire list up front. He will only be able to see the contacts that he has dialed. So let's say there's a contact list of 20 numbers. He won't be able to see any of the contacts beforehand. Once he dials, then he, the numbers starts to reveal themselves. Finally, there's a call log access. Now this call log access does another thing. What it does is it allows the agent to add a number that is not there in GoDial to a list where he clicks on this and he can do it. There's actually a video on this, how to do it. You can give it a try. We will put the link in the description box. Now, once you have done this, what you'll do is you'll click save. And that's all that you have to do while creating an agent. Share him, share with him the email ID and the password, the usernames, and he can log in into his GoDial app. The next member that we will add is a sub manager. Now, a sub manager is someone who gets to access the web dashboard. Then, what is the difference between a sub manager and a team manager? A team manager can be in two teams. So, let's say, for example, there is a scenario where you have more than one teams working in different projects and obviously you would not want one team to know about the other team in such a case what you do is you create different teams which you can do by just scrolling down and clicking here so what we'll do is we'll add another team Now, what we'll do is we'll add a member. So once again, let's get the email ID this time around. We'll create a user ID. We'll set the password for him. And we'll keep the role as sub manager. And we'll check the permissions. You can see there actually are two new permissions that have been added here. One is modify member and the other is allow all list access. Now, if you give this modify member option to your agent, what he can do is he can change the team of a certain agent or a certain sub manager. The, the allow all list access gives the agent or the sub manager the option of accessing all the lists that are there in his team. But if you want him to only know about the contacts that is that you have assigned to him. In that case, what you do is you remove this and you click save. And he is added. The final member who we will add is of the team manager. And what you will see when it comes to the team manager is that you get to select more than one team. When it is a sub manager or an agent, he can only be in one team. So we'll skip this part and we'll straight away move on to seeing the accesses a sub manager gets and not gets. All right. So what we'll do is we'll log out of this manager account and we will log in with the sub manager account just to see the accesses that he gets and the things that he can do. So we'll log in with his credentials. And the first thing that you can notice here is that he does not get to select 
his own team. In the other account, he could actually come up here and he could change the team and move on to another team. The next thing that you'll see is he does not have the integration tab. And if you come up to the CRM, you can see he cannot see any lists because we had removed that access from him. So he can add his own list and he can start calling up there. So that's all that there is while adding team and members. Hope this video has helped you. Do keep watching us and give it a like and subscribe to our channel to know more about GoDial and CRM software. Till then, thank you so much.